One development that contributed to mariachi's rise in popularity in California and the Southwest occurred in 1961, when the University of California in Los Angeles became the first academic institution to teach mariachi music. Today, mariachi is so popular, it's offered in schools at all levels. I think the whole movement here in the United States is inspirational. I think that's part of the reason it keeps me going. Those kids have such a love and a passion for this music, just like I felt. In my times, I was considered to be crazy, and it's just I was ahead of the game. I feel like uh, so many more people understand where I was coming from now because of the fact that I was a 20-year-old uh, feeling passionate about mariachi music, and now you've got five-year-olds that want to grow up to be mariachis. I've been singing since I was two years old, and now I am eight years old. The best part is, is that I get to see people smiling, and that I know that they're very happy to know that I'm here, and that I'm singing to you. And if the arts is just one of those means in which they can achieve greatness, because we know that uh, academic scores are, are enhanced by the fact that they learn music and they learn dance or they are involved in theater, so they're, they're expressing themselves in such a positive way. So I asked the school administration if I could start a mariachi class. And they said, well, if you can get 15 students to sign up, we'll fund the class. On the first day, 47 kids showed up. So there was tremendous response, surprised the school district. On the first day, I asked the students, how many of you play a musical instrument? None of them. After two years or three years, the kids started getting really good. By this point, I was enjoying the teaching of the music at this level. It had a tremendous impact on the community on the, and on the students themselves. La música mexicana se contagia desde niños. Ya de los, los niños empiezan a oír la música mexicana y empiezan a sentir el, el, la ebullición de su sangre que tienen, la sangre latina, como le nombran, pero es la sangre mexicana. Uh -huh. La sangre la misma que los llama a aprender nuestras raíces. Mariachi programs expand the cultural base of non-Mexican youth and help students of Mexican descent appreciate their roots. Mariachi is becoming the music of a new generation. I started playing mariachi music at the University of Southern California. I started playing mariachi music because two of my brothers and one of my sisters had been playing mariachi. And I saw what happiness they brought to crowds, to my parents, to my family, and I wanted to partake in, in a part of that.
The youngest students currently uh, with the new set of beginners age 8, the oldest student is age 18. It's an interesting age range that you don't find traditionally in uh, instructional venues like elementary or uh, secondary or high school. This is a community youth mariachi which means we really have like three generations. This music was a folk music idiom that came from uh, small rural towns in Mexico and it usually was the grandfather, uncles, dad and cousins all together. I say that whether you're going to be a mariachi musician for life or just for fun as a avocation, you need to really practice and know your instrument. I would say that the most important thing is to know your instrument first and a mariachi second. Because I've seen a lot of kids at the conferences I go to and what hurts me the most is that some of these kids can just barely even hold a violin, you know, terrible position, posture, but yet they want to come and play La Negra. So I would say learn your instrument well first and then learn the folk music.